I'm Sarah from So Sarah Style. Welcome to my first vlog. So welcome to Tidy Corner. This is the only part of my sewing room which isn't covered in fabric, scissors, seam rippers, thread, you get the picture. So that's the only bit that I'm going to be showing for this vlog at least. Um, I have been sewing for over 10 years. I've been part of the Instagram community since 2019 and I've absolutely loved sharing makes, doing challenges, supporting each other. It's just such a fabulous place to be. Um, I also love watching vlogs so I just thought well maybe it's about time I tried vlogging. I have got so many ideas for things that I'd like to make um, and I think partly it's about putting it out there. So if I've said I'm going to do it, if I've shown you that you know my plans Hopefully, I might actually get them made. So that's the vague idea at the minute. So I'll need to tell you what I'm wearing, which is the Paper Cut Patterns Array Dress, um, which is it's really simple, um, loose sleeved top with a kimono belt. Um, oh, I'll put a picture in me of, of me wearing it because I can't show you very well here. It's made in one of my favourite fabrics, which has just been in my stash for a while because I couldn't bear to cut into it. I'd seen somebody uh, make a wilder gown out of it and really wanted that, but I didn't have enough fabric. It's the um, Luna Trees Viscose Lawn from Fabric Godmother and it is so soft. It's beautiful. I just love the colours. So I wanted to use to use it in a pattern that wasn't that was going to show the pattern to its best effect. So I just thought, keep it simple and we'll make one of my many array dresses. For me, one of the most fun things about sewing is being able to recreate ready to wear looks that I see either on the internet or in magazines. Um, my One of my favourite sewing challenges on Instagram has to be the Sew Recreate the Look Challenge by, run by um, Charlene and Jen. I'll, I'll put their details down, down below. And um, the idea really is that you get a ready to wear picture of a ready to wear item that you want and then recreate that obviously. Um, I just think that's brilliant fun and I do that actually quite a lot in my sewing all the time. I see something and I'll come away and I think right I wonder what pattern I've got, what fabric I've got to be able to to make that with. This behind me is an example of that. Um, this I saw a picture on Instagram of a fabulously glamorous Parisian woman crossing a street in Paris wearing a jacket not dissimilar to this. I already had the fabric when I went to Sew Brum. Um, it's like a wool melton. And um, so I used that, that was from Barry's Fabrics, and just got some cream rick back to go on it. And um, I was really quite pleased with it, to be honest. And then I put it on to go out and my son said, you look like a gingerbread man. So um, that kind of took the edge off it really for me, but still. I then started to take, so I started to take the rickrack off. Um, but to be perfectly honest, I think it's going to be a bit boring without the rickrack. So I think now Christmas is gone, um, I'm just going to wear it. I'm just going to stick this rickrack back on and give it a go. And, and hopefully I'll just enjoy wearing it. It might be the belt that's a bit too much. So whether I just take the rickrack off the belt, I don't know. Anyway, I'll, um, I'll have a go at wearing it and just see where I go with that. So on to my plans, um, following on from what I was just saying actually about recreating ready to wear looks, I found a pair of trousers that um, that I really like the look of and partly because actually I've had this fabric in my stash for I don't know how many years. It's, it's like a viscose linen. Um, I think it was from Pound Fabrics, but it uh, over five years ago. Um, and I saw a pair of ready to wear trousers with an elastic waist, I'll, show, I'll insert a picture again, elastic waist, elastic um, bottoms. And I just thought, oh, actually that might work to, just to get me out of my jeans. I, I wear jeans far too much. I'm trying, I'm not very good at fitting pants, but I have made the um, Pomona pants by Anna Allen before in a, in a pair of shorts. So I think with the elastic, elastic top and, and just add elastic at the bottom that should work so I'm going to be giving that one a go. Um, the next plan I have, I'm only going to share three today because I really don't want to overwhelm myself with stuff to do um, and I don't know how long it's going to take uh, before my next, I'd like obviously to show as much as I can on my next vlog. 
um, is a work in progress or a whip. This has to be the whip to end all whips. It's the Butterick B4920 and it's been cut out for probably about 11 years. My middle son was a baby and I gave up sewing for a while and I'd cut this out in one of my sewing lessons. Um, I can't leave it any longer. I've really got to get it made up in spite of the fact that it's really not my style anymore. I think I've gone for view A, but I've cut out the sleeves as well and I've cut them out in this. It's kind of, it's like a calico coloured jersey. It looks quite nice really. It's all been beautifully pinned and cut out far more carefully than I would do these days, to be honest. Um, but I guess it was part of a lesson and I've just got to get it made up, haven't I? You never know. I might even like it. <laughs> Make number three is the McCall's M2, sorry, M8240. And this is sort of a slightly retro looking jersey top with a collar and placket. I've seen some dresses um, that I really like in this style, but um, before I start extending it into a dress, I will make it up as the top. Um, in this stretchy crepe, it's like a, a crepe fabric. Um, I, I, get, I have no idea where this came from. It's been in my stash for a while, but um, I think it'll probably work quite well as a twirl and uh, We'll try and, uh, it looks quite similar to the pattern there. We'll try and get that made up and recreate that look too. So that's me for today. I've kept it short and sweet for my first vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed a little taste of what you've seen today. And we'll come back to hopefully view the results of my plans and see what I get up to on the next vlog. Thanks. Take care. Bye.